Hello, this is Jen with American Knitter, and today I'm going to show you how to make a bun beanie. What a bun beanie is, is that it is a beanie, um, but then at the top, instead of closing it off, you leave it open. It has a hole to let your hair come through um, so that you can fashion a bun or a ponytail or whatever type of hair fashion through the top of your beanie. Um, this one um, took me probably about two hours total to make. They're, they knit up pretty quickly. Um, what you need to make it is two colors of yarn. Today I'm going to do uh, this whitish color and this yellowish color. So what I'm using today is this is actually called Gold and this is by Loops and Threads. This is also Loops and Threads and this color is Off-White. Um, the bulk I'm, or the weight that I'm using today is bulky. Um, it's a weight five, um, so I'm going to use size 13 needles to knit my bun beanie up with these. If you go with a bulk six, you might want to change to a size 15 needle so it's not quite as tight. Uh, but that's what we're going to do today. So size uh, <clears throat> 13 needles with a uh, weight of five yarn, okay, for both of these. And uh, let's go ahead and get started. Okay, so I am going to start with the off-white yarn so that my pattern um, for this bun bee that I'm creating is going to be off-white, gold, off-white, gold, okay? So I'm gonna start with the off-white and I'm going to cast on 56. And uh, you have to keep in mind that uh, what you're going to be doing for the stitch in the middle, um, the the fancy stitch to make it interesting in the middle of the beanie, um, how many stitches you're going to need for that. So I'm going to do a diagonal stitch in the middle of the beanie and I do need sets of four for that. So I need to make sure that my uh, cast on uh, will let me have the, the sets of four that I need for the middle section. Um, and also 54 is a really good uh, length uh, it kind of makes one size fits most beanie. Um, I'll go anywhere from 54 to 56 when making these beanies, uh, depending on the size of needles, if I'm using the 15s or the 13s, and what stitch I'm doing. So this one is going to be 56, okay? And we're starting with the white. So go ahead and do that, 56 across on our size 13 needles. And I'll show you what to do when we get to the end of the row. Okay, now that we have 56 stitches um, cast on, we're going to create a rib pattern doing two knits and two purls all the way across so that we have a nice chunky ribbing at the bottom of the hat. We'll do a total of four rows, okay? So we knit twice and then purl twice across. Just repeating that pattern. And then when we turn around, do the same thing so that we have knit, knit, and purl, purl. Okay, all right, so do that across. Two knits, two purls, all the way across. Okay, I'm on my last set of four here, so I have two knits and then two purls to go to finish off my first row. So purl, and then purl, and then I'm going to flip it around for row two. And so nicely, it starts on a knit, and I just do the same thing now across. Knit, knit, purl, purl. Okay, so now I'm going to start row two. Okay, so like I said, do a total of four rows. This is my second row. So I will finish those four rows and show you how to uh, switch over to the yellow and uh, we're going to change the pattern when we get to the yellow thread or yarn. Okay, all right, so do your four rows. Okay, so we have our ribbed section done. So two knits, two purls, four rows of that. And now we're gonna switch over to the gold yarn and we're also going to switch um, our stitch. Okay, now this next section you can do whatever stitch you would like. Um, I am going to do the diagonal stitch and um, I've done before 
the uh, granite stitch, which I also really like. Um, so this is an example of the granite stitch, and I do have a tutorial about how to create that. And I also have a tutorial about how to create the uh, diagonal stitch. So I will get doing the diagonal. So what I do is I just like to tie it on so I have a nice, um, you know, it's not going to slip or slide around. And you have to leave enough. I'm going to trim the white now, detach it from this game. But you have to leave enough so that you can sew it closed when we're done. So that's detached now, and I'm only connected to the gold. Okay. So I'm going to start on the diagonal stitch now, and I'll show you what that looks like. Um, again, it makes sure though when you're picking out what stitch you're going to do in the middle that it's going to work with however many you have cast on at the bottom. So for the diagonal stitch, I need sets of four. So this set works out really nicely because with 56, I have it, it sets of four to, to the end here. Um, it would also work with the granite stitch because you only need sets of two for the granite stitch. So make sure that you keep that in mind, okay? And you're going to do a total of 16 rows um, in the middle section. So I have to do four sets um, of four across um, or I'm sorry, I have to do <laughs> four sets of the uh, diagonal stitch going up because the uh, diagonal stitch takes four rows each time. So I'll get started on that and show you what it looks like um, as I move along. I am halfway through the uh, gold section right here. Um, so you can see that it's starting to get that vertical or, or not vertical, but diagonal line to it. Um, so I am eight rows in, I have eight rows to go. So you wanna do a total of 16 rows um, in the middle here uh, to create that, this middle section right here, okay? So I am halfway through. I uh, just wanted to stop and show uh, what it is looking like. Also, I just wanna say I'm really liking this uh, type of yarn. This is the first time I've used it. Again, it's called Loops and Threads. And I really like, it's very soft and it holds together really well. I don't have any fuzziness going on, which sometimes happens in the bulky yarn. So this is really nice yarn. I'm liking it a lot. And uh, also, again, if you uh, are wanting to know how to do this diagonal stitch, I did a tutorial on it. Um, it should be there um, for you to find pretty easily. And also there is a tutorial on how to do the granite stitch, which I also really love to do on the bun beanies. So there are some options for you. You can do any stitch that you want in the middle. Um, these are just two options for you to take a look at and try. So also make sure to subscribe to uh, American Knitter channel. That way you can see what other products I'll have coming up and be sure to ring the bell so that you get notified of those projects. Okay, so I will finish this gold section and we will go back to the white and I'll show you what to do there. Now that I have finished uh, this uh, golden section, the second section here with the vertical, or oh, I keep saying vertical, with the diagonal stitch, um, you can see how it's going diagonally, okay? So I have finished that, the 16 rows total. I am going to switch back over to my off-white yarn, and now I'm just going to do the stockinette stitch and four rows of the stockinette stitch. So that is just knitting all the way across, and then when you turn over, you purl, and then knit the next row and purl the fourth row so that it's all knit on the front. So I've just reattached my white yarn, or off-white yarn, there we go. Okay, and I'm going to knit across, so four rows of the stockinette, okay? So we'll just continue through that, and we'll show you how to do the decrease and the bind off. So we're almost done. I have finished the four rows of stockinette stitch. Okay, so you can see that. So we have four rows of ribbing, 16 rows of your choice of pattern. I did the diagonal stitch, and then we have four rows of stockinette stitch at the top in alternating colors. So I am now switching back to the gold yarn, and we are going to start reducing um, and pulling this in. Okay, and in order to do the reduction, we are just going to knit two together across. Okay, all the way across. So knit two together means that you're going to go through two stitches instead of just the one, and you're going to knit both of them together. Okay, so we're going to reduce the cross by knitting two together, 
all the way. And then I will show you how to do the bind off. Okay, so go ahead and do that. All right, I'm on my last four stitches on the row, so I only have two stitches to go. So I'm gonna knit these two together and then knit these two together. Oops, there we go. Okay, so now we are just going to bind this off. Okay, and the bind off way to do this is we're going to knit two together. Okay, and then I'm going to take this stitch off of the needle and put it back on to my left needle. Okay, and then I'm going to do the same thing again. Knit two together, and then take that stitch and put it back on. Okay, knit two together. Oops, let me grab it right. Okay, there we go. Knit two together and put it back on. Okay, knit two together and put it back on. So you can see it creates this nice edge right there, okay? All right, so do that all the way across. And then all we have left to do is sew it closed. So when you're switching yarn and cutting, make sure you leave enough uh, left in order to sew and bind the hat together on the edges. And I'll show you that in just a moment, okay? So just finish that, finish binding your row, and then uh, we will sew the hat together, the bandini together. Okay. All right, I've made it all the way to the end where I have my final, I did my two together, and then I have my final loop. So I'm just going, and I, I cut the yarn, okay. Um, so all I'm going to do now is just close that. So I'm going to take this loop off the needle, and I'm going to bring the yarn through the loop and tighten it up. Oh, except for I did the wrong one. <laughs> so there we go. I grabbed the wrong yarn tail. Okay, there. So and I'm just going to tighten it up. Okay. All right, so now all that is left to do is we're going to bind these edges together. We're gonna stitch. So you uh, just fold it together make sure all the colors match right okay on the edges and you're going to use all your little tails to stitch it together okay alternating colors um, for your stitching when you get there okay so i am just going to use this little plastic uh, needle okay and i'm going to start with my golden up here, which won't take very long because there's only one little row, right? So I'm just going to go in, pull it through. Okay, and then I only have like one more to do. Bring it in. And then I'm going to take this and go to the inside and tie it off with my other tail that's on the inside there. Okay, and then when I'm done, I'm going to weave in all of these, all of this yarn, all of these extra tails. Okay, so now I'm going to switch over to my off-white and do the same thing. I'm going to stitch, close this off-white section. Okay, so you can use whatever, uh, whatever needle works for you. So if you just have a nice yarn needle, go ahead and do that. I just have this little plastic one. Oops, fun. So I wanna make sure that these golden threads stay on, or yarn stays on the inside. Okay, there we go. So now I'm going to just stitch closed this off-white section here, okay? And work my way down the hat and then weave in the ends, okay? So there you go, that is how you make it. I will go ahead and finish doing that and show you the finished product. Uh, as you can see, it has that nice diagonal stitch in the middle which creates some fun texture and interest. You can do any pattern 
of stitch in the middle of, that you would like, and of course any colors you would like. So there's a lot of different options that you can do just based on what you um, are in the mood to do. So I'll finish this up and show you the final product. And there it is, our finished product. Um, as you can see, um, you can, can't even really tell where, I'm trying to find the seam. Oh, there it is, okay. So you can't really tell where the seam um, is that, we, that I sewed it together. Okay, so you just have to be careful as you're going down. And then you just weave in the ends on the inside so it, uh, so you can't even tell. Um, again, you can use any color, um, any pattern in the middle. This is a really good one size fits most. Um, and uh, they're really warm, really comfortable, and fun to wear. So if you have any questions, please let me know. Hopefully this helps you guys out and uh, gives you some more ideas. Have fun with uh, choosing colors and different patterns to do. And I will see you next time. Have a great time knitting.